Heads up, while most of my content is family friendly and suitable for all ages, Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations is a game that has been rated T by the ESRB rating system, and as such the videos in this Let's Play are likely to contain mild blood and or violence possibly at the same time. So viewer discretion is advised. Welcome back to Phoenix Wright Trials and Tribulations, everybody. It's Iris's last testimony. <laughs> How much money do you want to bet that it's not her last testimony? I'm not going to bet because I'm broke. <laughs> <laughs> not for long. You got yeah, a job. I did, Which actually. will be an old job like, by the time by this the video time goes up. I'll be like, oh, that job. That job sucked. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe it'll be fine. All right. So cause continuing crossing. <gasps> Crossing? <laughs> well, cross-examining crossing. You make me lady. cross, Iris. Yes, but if the snow had already stopped when the incident took place... I couldn't have crossed the bridge, naturally. But I think it's just like Mr. Godot said. The body did make it across somehow. So it's basically like, well, she's probably lying, but it had to get across somehow, so she's probably not lying. Uh, well... Must have gotten confused. This is the most decisive testimony ever. But you seem to be quite sure of yourself when you gave your testimony. You said you were sure the snow had already stopped. I'm terribly sorry I was wrong. I just ran over your cat. Yeah. <laughs> Does she really think that an apology is going to get her off the hook? She knows that it will because the judge is like, Oh, we don't care about, about that. that. <laughs> was the snow still falling or had it stopped? It does matter. It's very important. This is no joke! You're giving sworn testimony in a court of law. Well, Mr. Wright, let me ask you a question. Do you remember what the d weather was like one week ago today? Huh? W well, I... Naturally, it was, um... You don't remember that, Phoenix? You see, it's not that easy to remember, is it? But, but if it had been some kind of a special day, I would have remembered. So, for example, it was pouring rain on the day of my elementary school graduation. Objection. He's like, that doesn't matter, trite. Shut no one up. wants to hear about your childhood <laughs> traumas, trite. <laughs> <laughs> what? No Every one does. Everybody wants to I hear, hear about that it. story. <laughs> Don't worry about what other people say. Just tell the story your way. Yeah. By the time the murder took place, the snow had already stopped. If you insist on obsessing over that one statement, let's see the proof. Show some evidence that the body had somehow crossed the bridge while it was on fire. I'm gonna have that whole song stuck in my head. Now From this what? little boy can yeah, come go home, home and, and enjoy. Who's your personal striped elephant? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, I don't see why there couldn't be a way across. Mr. Wright, don't you think that sounds a bit silly? dead body crossing a burning bridge. Did anyone actually witness such a thing? Well... Well! <laughs> ha. If there was, I don't think you'd call someone like that as a witness. We already did! After all, a dream isn't the same as actually seeing something. Um, are you psychic? <laughs> <laughs> I come all this way, so I owe it to everyone to figure this out. But how do you transport a body across a burning bridge? You fling it. Even if I don't know the exact answer yet, it's okay. I'll start by examining all of my evidence and see where it takes me. Okay. I've got to be like a shark. If I don't keep moving, I'm as good as dead. But if also, you, I eat dolphins. But if you're not dead, you've got like six more rows of teeth to try. <laughs> <laughs> don't grow back. <laughs> um. Okay. Okay. Doo -doo. I mean, I think we just need to present the picture. This one. Yeah. <laughs> A dead body flying over a burning bridge? I wouldn't exactly rule the, out the possibility. Wh what? <laughs> ha! You're saying it's possible? Don't make me laugh. The only thing that's possible about your claim is that it's been pulled out of thin air. Ha ha ha. I don't know about that. In any case, we have a witness who did see it happen. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? Who is this witness? You weren't there that day, but... I can't chicken out here. I've got to keep on the attack and go, go, go. Go, 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 Joseph. Miss Elise Donham's brilliant and highly gifted apprentice, Maurice Donham. Brilliant. Highly gifted. Apprentice? Remember what he said in his testimony. That night, he was at the Mountain Shack, Heavenly Hall. And... 
that's when he witnessed the event. I think you've all seen this sketch before. It's an exact drawing of what he witnessed that night. <laughs> are you serious? Today's not April Fool's <laughs> Day, is it? Mr. Wright, are you seriously claiming that the victim flew through the air? Maybe Mr. And you're Green using this it. pathetic scribble to support your argument? Uh-oh, the judge looks like he's about to blow a gasket. <laughs> ha! Well, Trite, there's nowhere for you to hide now. Other than looking like it was drawn by a six-year-old, what does the sketch prove? Um... Dude, have what six-year-old drawings have you seen? Yeah, None six, look that good. My six-year-old drawings, it's like a yes. girl in front of a house. <laughs> I'm pretty sure it does, and I'm going to prove it. Listen, I know your tricks. You're trying to turn this whole thing upside down. If you're so eager to turn this case upside down, why not start with this sketch? Upside down? Why did Godot say that? Because maybe she went, oh, and like swung on the, <laughs> like, swung on the wire. Like Tarzan. Yeah. <laughs> All right, then let's hear the defense's fury. What exactly is this sketch trying to show? I don't think old whisker face is going to forgive any more mistakes. All right, Phoenix, look carefully and think it over. This sketch drawn by Laurie Stoneham is evidence of nothing, a complete contradiction. Exactly what happened. <laughs> um, <laughs> here's the thing. If you flip it upside down, wee wee. Yeah. There's, um, both of the wires are still supporting. So the original picture that she showed where it's like, oh, this is what the bridge looked like. Ha <laughs> ha. It's totally wrong. Mm. Like, the wires already been snapped. So okay. So there's that. Second, I'm not sure if this is exactly what happened because it's, um, really re <laughs> but, <laughs> but okay, it's well, not let's roll evidence out, of nothing. Let's roll out the dumb one. This sketch proves exactly one thing. Absolutely nothing. I've been a judge for a long time now, but I've never seen a defense lawyer so brazenly admit the flimsiness of their evidence. Come on! I must say, it was quite refreshing in a strange way. Times change, your honor. Like they say, you are quite the old man, old man. I have the feeling my old lifespan just got shorter. Or my own lifespan. <laughs> my old lifespan? You're not gonna live long in your old... Allow me to speed you along the aging process, trite. I thought he was gonna throw the coffee in our face. All right, then. The witness will now return to her testimony. Yes, Your Honor. Ah, oh, no. Heck no. Time travel. Well, if it's exactly what happened, that would be insane, but I feel like it could be. <laughs> Let's try it. <laughs> of course the victim was flying through the air. You can see it right there in the sketch. Whoosh! <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're starting to remind me of yesterday's witness. Ah! <laughs> that was the last thing I wanted to hear. <laughs> Do you have any evidence that the victim flew through the air? No. Just so you know, we haven't discovered a giant human catapult at the Inner Temple yet. Ah. Uh, I wish they had. <laughs> <laughs> Even if you're a lousy lawyer, at least you're one cup's worth of entertainment. I think we should skip the penalty this time. <sighs> there must be some way. I just know it. I like to, so Phoenix basically like he was like such an idiot, but and I was like, you know, you were entertaining enough. We won't penalize you. Yeah. There must be a way to use Larry's sketch to show the truth of what happened. All right then, the witness will no, she won't. <laughs> Complete contradiction. Something is obviously funny about this sketch. I'm no art critic, but even I can <laughs> see that. No, no, that, that's not what I mean, Your Honor. Maurice don't have stated it over and over. That this sketch was exactly as he saw it. But he was upside down. However, if we're to believe his testimony, then the sketch contradicts reality as we know it. That's what I was saying. It contradicts reality? Ha. <laughs> this is getting interesting. I do like Godot's smile when he's, like, <laughs> being blending over his coffee. Looks like you're back to that finger-pointing thing again. Objection. Okay, Trite. So what exactly contradicts reality as we know it? Well, one of the wires... First off, there's this girl flying through the sky. The flying figure, naturally. After all, people haven't learned to fly yet. Or did I miss something? Mr. Wright, that answer just now, it was lethal. <laughs> Back to the blushing sprite. Mr. Wright, after dragging us all the way to this point, that answer was embarrassing. <laughs> it was so embarrassing, I'm actually blushing. I can't see. 
Blushing only suits women, not the elderly. Anyway, what now? Rethink things. Point to something else. <laughs> <laughs> I've decided to rethink the whole thing. That sounds like a wise idea. <laughs> Rethinking why you became a lawyer? Perhaps you'd like to rethink merely being born. No, no, I'm not going by that far back. All right, then the witness. No, she won't. <laughs> Your Honor, please give me one more chance. I'm in a tight spot now. What I really need to do is turn this case upside down. So it's up to me to flip things around and get them straight again in my head. Do you know what you're saying this time? <laughs> no, but I'm gonna try. I believe it's somewhere he around here. Maybe. Somewhere around here. Maybe. Well, the artist responsible for the sketch is a bit of a walking contradiction, so it's difficult to point out where the contradictions end and the truth begins. <laughs> Enough with the psycho babble! <laughs> I will miss. Oh, I'm gonna miss me Phoenix Wright. Like okay. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Wright, after dragging us all the way to this point, that was embarrassing. It's the wires. Oh, we don't get something. Yeah, you guessed it. It's the wire connected to the bridge. The wire? Ha. Huh. Is that the thing that can contradicts reality? Ooh, reality? It is indeed. Then show us the reality it supposedly conflicts with. Show us something that will point out how the sketch contradicts reality. Now I'm gonna have that Phoenician burp song like the When you level two! When you level Cause there's, the, Cause there's the flying girl. My attorney's badge isn't in the photo. Here's your evidence. Right. It looks like the only piece of reality you have is that poorly drawn sketch. Huh? And the only thing flying away here is your chance of winning this case. I thought the only thing flying is this cup of coffee. It's the sea You're only flying by the seat of your pants. I guess I just don't get it yet. I still don't understand what the truth behind the sketch is. Well, Mr. Wright, if you want to think it over, now's your chance. Um... Let's go back. Okay. So you said that the wires are on the... Uh, uh the yeah. wire was snapped? Yeah. Obvious. You're right for the wrong reason again. <laughs> what? That's a photo of Dusky Bridge, correct? Yes. Now compare the sketch and the photo for a minute. Well, you're mostly right, but not quite. Okay. In the sketch, the wires appear to be above the guard wires. But they're But below. on the actual sure. Dusky Bridge... Jump a Jehoshaphat! The wires are below the guard wires. Sure, so then the girl's flying under. What? <laughs> the girl's flying under, yeah, that's what I was- Order, order, order. This sketch is somewhat different than what's depicted in the photo. However, isn't it likely that the artist just saw it wrong? Or perhaps he just drew it wrong. Either way, it sounds like you're just wrong. With someone like Maurice, I admit a mistake is a definite possibility. But then that begs the question, why did he make a mistake? What was the reason? Are you saying you know the answer to that? Listen, think back, all right? Remember what Loris was doing when he witnessed this event? Sleeping. He was at Heavenly Hall waiting for a lover that was never going to come. He waited and waited, and finally he laid down. But then, lightning shoots from the sky and sets the bridge aflame. Now ponder what sort of position Larry must have been in at the time. He was lying on his back, which is why he remembered the scene the way he did. Upside down. He was lying on his back? I can't see how it relates. But it does, your honor. That is the reason why the wires in the sketch go up instead of down. Ah! Ugh. No way. Maurice Donham witnessed the event while he was lying on his back, face up. In other words, the scene that he saw was actually upside down. That's what I wondered this whole time. You had called that immediately, yeah. which is great. So then, this sketch should actually... I think you finally get it, Your Honor. The correct way to view Maurice Donham's sketch is like this. Sideways. This is how it should actually look. We... The victim's body wasn't flying above the bridge. It was actually swinging below. That's right, just like a pendulum. <laughs> Ridiculous! I thought it was delicious. <laughs> <laughs> order, order, order. Of all the things to say, a pendulum? 
The bridge was burning to a crisp. There was no way to get across it. But if the body had been found at the Inner Temple, it would have caused problems. This is where the criminal decided to take a gamble. They used the burning bridge to get the body across to the other side. And a pendulum was the only way to get it done. Let's think about this for a minute, shall we? Okay. Dusky Bridge is about 20 yards long. Which means it's about that far from the Inner Temple to the opposite cliff. Yes, that sounds right. In order to cover that distance with a pendulum, you need a rope at least 10 yards long. To get a rope that long, you'd have to plan ahead. Okay. The lightning strike that night can only have been an accident. So it doesn't make sense that the criminal would have prepared the rope beforehand. So then, the criminal. They didn't have to get the rope ready. The rope was already right in front of the criminal. What? I'm saying that it was just a matter of using what was already there. In that case, Mr. Wright, please give us an explanation to support your theory. What makes you think the criminal had the rope on the can to create a pendulum? Because of the rope that was down and... Yeah. My attorney's badge! <laughs> Mr. Wright, do you really have to present that every time? What do you think, Mr. Godot? No. I think that Mr. Trite is lucky there's no rope around here. Huh? Even if I had just a sliver of rope, I'd be wrapping it nice and tight around his neck. I should have figured I'm not going to win this one with a lucky guess. Mr. Wright, your assertion seems to be baseless. There's no evidence that the body was swung like a pendulum after all. Wait, but that's the only possible way the body could have gotten across. The rope was already right in front of the criminal. What? It was a matter of using everything. Okay. Sorry, I'm like, shoot, thank the guilty party isn't it. And the meaning of this is? If you want to know where the rope came from, it's hanging right there in front of your glorious beard. Ah! This, this is one of the wires from the bridge. When the lightning struck the bridge and set it on fire, one of the suspension wires came loose from its anchor. The criminal didn't have any time to waste, so they tied the wire around Elise Donum's body. Whoosh. But how does that work with the... How does she get off? What? Because there was simply no other way to move the body. Which means Iris was there the whole time. Ha! Uh -oh. <laughs> Drinks coffee furiously. Yeah. Mr. Godot? That would be a really good <laughs> gift to make where it's like, oh, it's Monday. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. It seems that Mr. Godot is more focused on his coffee than answering my question. It seems that the odds of a rope being readily available were very high. So I suppose that it's not an impossibility after all. Know that I'm done with my coffee. Possible or impossible? That's not the question we need to ask. There's only one question. Did that really happen? Trite, I wonder if you can prove what happened to us. Do you have any actual evidence that the body was swung over like a pendulum? Um, uh, maybe the autopsy report? Oh my gosh. What? It fell ten feet after death? Yep. Is that where she fell when she off was the pushed pendulum. off the pendulum? That's possible. And then, yeah. Oh my gosh. Does this actually work? I wonder. Oh, it does. Oh man. What's the other one normally? I believe. Well, I'll get to it later. <laughs> the hanging scroll. Here's the proof. Why don't you go swing yourself around like a pendulum trite? I think you should think that over again, Mr. Wright. It's kind of nice when they don't spend too much time thinking of a witty retort. I suppose we've gotten used to your mistakes. Ouch! Wow. <laughs> I need to think about how the body was moved. The criminal decided to use the pendulum method as a last resort. So there's a good chance there's still a clue from where, when, or where the body landed. And that explains why she has bruises all over her. Yep. And then she, they were like, eh, just push her out the window again. Here's a toast to your ever-so-classic clueless look. Try I wonder if you can prove what happened. So I believe the other piece of evidence that works is the crystal sphere. Before I present really? my evidence, let me review what we know so far. According to this photo, one of the wires snapped. 
Looking at the map, we can see it's the one that was in front of the inner Wait temple. Wait a minute. What if the body crashed into Heavenly Hall while we're- <laughs> <laughs> So then, that was the spot where the criminal- Yes, precisely. Now let us consider the body's movement by looking at the overhead map again. If the body was pushed from this point here, it would drop on the opposite bank at approximately this point. D did you say drop? Well, they must have failed to catch the body on the other bank. What? What makes you think something like that happened? Because I have evidence that suggests her body dropped some distance. What kind of evidence? Take a look at this autopsy report. It says here that her body fell about 10 feet after her death. 10 feet, huh? That's most likely the height difference between the two sides. The body overswung due to the forward momentum, but then came loose and fell about 10 feet. And then as a result of the landing impact, this crystal sphere was knocked loose. The yes, this blood-stained amethyst crystal. It's the one that came off of Miss Elise Stonem's staff. And even more important is the place where this crystal sphere was found. Indeed, I believe it's already marked on this overhead map. The crystal was found... Ah! Precisely, your honor. In the very spot where the pendulum would arrive if given the right amount of speed. Godot isn't saying much, that's surprising. This explains your theory quite well, Mr. Wright. You have provided us with the way the body could have been moved that night. What? An impressive deduction, Mr. Wright. Most impressive. Oh, that. I was M like- <laughs> Mr. Wright! I thought this cold coffee might help cool you down. Wh what is the meaning of this, Mr. Godot? You should not be a prosecutor. That doesn't count as one of the 17 I drink, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> that was a dark and bitter guess that you made, Trite. But you forgot one about, about one thing. What? Oh, and what would that be? The aroma. Huh? <laughs> what? A coffee's most reliable accomplice is its deep and profound aroma. Um, the rest of the court doesn't speak coffee knees. Can you elaborate a bit more? <laughs> if the criminal had sent the body to the other side, like you say, then naturally there must have been an accomplice laying in wait to catch it. An accomplice? The criminal wasn't able to cross Dusky Bridge. So, who collected the body? What do you have to say about that, trite? Mr. Godot is correct. This can't be the work of a single person. It's her twin sister. Well, Mr. Wright, you must know. You know what you must do. And it also explains why when we ran into her, she was like, Oh, I recognize you. <laughs> yes, Your Honor. The body couldn't have made it to Hasakura Temple without an accomplice. No, with enough swing! Whee! <laughs> 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 and Iris is like, better stab it! <laughs> Very well then, if you please, Mr. Wright. Who was the person that received the body? Did, did they have, give her like a jetpack or something? <laughs> <laughs> Whoosh! <laughs> Flies into this the is not like pushing them out of pendulum or like letting it drop. This is like <laughs> rocketing them. A 15 minute walk! <laughs> plus the distance of the bridge. No, <laughs> boy, was that thing. would fall way more than 10 feet. She <laughs> <laughs> wasn't that brute. Snow really helped the impact. <laughs> it was packing snow. Wow. No, um, it's pretty obvious. It's obvious. Dahlia? Yeah. Hmm. Well, Mr. Godot, I'm sure you have something to say. It wouldn't be anyone else! That aroma just now. It smelled of sulfur. Perhaps it was your chances of winning rotting away. Wow. I can't get my facts all mixed up like this. After the accomplice received the body, they carried it to Hasakura Temple. Yeah. Then they altered it using the Shichishito. There's only one person it can be. Or is it Iris and then the other chick threw it across? Mr. Wright, please don't stare at me like that. It's creepy. Uh, <laughs> hey, judge. Okay. It can only be you, Sister Iris. Huh? Ah! But I... I... I don't see why you're so surprised. The only way to transport the body from Dusky Bridge is by snowmobile. But with her bad back, Sister Bikini could never pick up a body like that. You're the only one that could have managed it. Mm -hmm. Trite, 
were you even listening to the witness's testimony? Yeah, and I, were you times. even listening to all the lies I exposed? <laughs> on the night of the crime, this little cutie pie was on cleanup duty in the Inner Temple Garden after the mother-daughter bloodbath. <laughs> I haven't forgotten, but have you, Mr. Godot? This witness was also seen at Hazakura Temple, desecrating the corpse of the victim. Hmm. Strange indeed. It's almost as if, on that night, the defendant was in two different places at the same time. It's possible. Sister Iris, let me ask you something. Why didn't you mention it when you first gave your testimony? Mention what? The <coughs> pendulum, of course. Using this sketch drawn by an eyewitness, I've established how the body was moved using the burnt-out bridge. Which means it's now a fact that this occurred, something you should have already known. N no I had no idea! I- I didn't know anything about a pendulum! But the body couldn't have been passed along to the other side without your help. So you should have known about it. In fact, it'd be impossible for you to be a clueless about this whole thing. Unless, you're not really Iris to begin with. What? Oh, can you say that, Mr. Wright? What? What kind of nonsense is this? You- you're saying this witness isn't Iris of Hazakura Temple? They just grabbed, um, I, in reality, Iris is at Hazakura Temple undoing all the locks still. And then Dahlia's like, all right, it's my turn. <laughs> Sup, bleeps. I'm Dahlia. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, are you serious, trite? You, you mean this woman is... There's no one besides Iris that could have received the corpse that night. Now I get it. Now I know why I've been sick to my stomach during this trial. Why her whole demeanor changed so suddenly from yesterday. That's why I changed her and voice! Why, I wondered if it was her! <laughs> and why she's trying to pin this murder on Maya. Because I've done it before! <laughs> the woman that's standing there at the witness stand, her real name is... Morgan. <laughs> she, she looks so good! <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, that can't be it! This is no time to be making stupid amateurs mistakes. The right, you made the third accusation. I won't have you turning my courtroom into a circus sideshow. That was case two free. Ugh, I don't, I don't want to forget that one. Come on, it's a no-brainer. Yeah. Oh, the standing there is this person. It's Godot. I never thought I'd have to utter your name again, let alone see you. It's been a long time, Dahlia Hawthorne. Hawthorne? Sister Iris had a twin sister. And you're looking at her, Miss Dahlia Hawthorne. Wow, they're really alike. That name rings some bells. Distant bells, but bells nonetheless. Ha. <laughs> it's just your imagination, Gramps. This file contains all the relevant data about Dahlia Hawthorne. I keep it on me at all I times. I keep it on me at all I'm times. Creepy. She's dead. <laughs> <laughs> she was executed, but guess who probably stood in her place? Somebody else! Oh yes, I remember now. That case. Five years ago. My name is Dahlia Hawthorne. I just wanted to say it's an honor for me to be here in your noble presence. The honor is all mine! No, the honor is all mine. We got pain in this case, too. Oh, pain, what? pain was in every case, except for. Yeah. <laughs> but according to this, Dahlia Hawthorne is already dead. It says her execution was carried out last month. That's right. I'm dead. Nobody knows that I'm alive. So what? Death has no meaning in this courtroom. W what? <laughs> Stay alive. I'm staying alive. Well, I'll be in trouble. Order, order, order. Wait a minute. How can you? My sister, she's already dead. What, what kind of? You of all people should already understand. After all. The blood of the master of the Karain channeling technique flows within that body. The Karain channeling technique? Now where have I heard that? That's right, you're not Dahlia Hawthorne herself. You're the spirit of Dahlia currently inhabiting the body of a spirit medium. Wait, did Iris channel her sister? Or did somebody else channel Why would Iris <laughs> channel her sister? They're like the same person. Except Iris isn't evil. Yeah. <laughs> well, that we know of. And Dolly would have complete control. Who would be channeling her then? What an exciting story. Exciting, but quite impossible. 
you're asking us to buy that Dahlia Hawthorne just happened to be channeled by someone on the very night of the murder to a temple where her twin sister Iris was. Whoa. Well, if you're going to put fans that way, then yes. Objection. It was planned. We're supposed to believe a coincidence like that just happens. Naturally, it was no coincidence. The whole thing was part of a plan from the very beginning. It's all written right here in these instructions. Ah! What's that? These instructions were written by your mother, Morgan Fay. And part of the plan called for Dahlia Hawthorne to be channeled. That night, there were two irises at Hazakura Temple. T two of them. Even the time of the channeling was planned out, as soon as you hear the lights out bell. In other words, 10 p.m. However, Iris was seen before dinner time. That means the Iris that was at dinner was the real Iris. And the Iris who gave me the hood in the main hall was also the real Iris. Meaning that the Iris Sister Bikini saw at the Inner Temple was someone else dressed as her, namely one Dahlia Hawthorne. Do you even know what you're saying, Trite? This whole channeling the spirit of Dahlia Hawthorne business? Yes, it's true that you found plans that talk about it. However, there's one thing that's perfectly clear. The witness currently standing in the witness stand is the real Iris. What?! That would make no sense, though. Calm down and remember what you know about the night of the crime. After meeting Sister Bikini, the Dahlia Hawthorne that had been channeled would have been stranded at the Inner Temple due to the lightning strike. Yeah, she's still there. I like the slow motion, like, of... of I, I like that animation. I really like that animation. It's great. It was later that the body was moved by Pendulum. That's right. Naturally, that would mean that the Iris that received the body was... the real Iris. Are you with me so far? Sure. That sounds yes. fine. After being notified of what happened, the police came to Hazakura Temple's main hall. There they found Iris in her room and arrested her. Yep. And ever since, she's been under police supervision at the detention center. Yes, I suppose. I can't deny any of that. Whew. Thank goodness. It looks as if he's fine. It looks like he's finally convicted. Convinced. Convinced. <laughs> Not convicted! <laughs> that was me! That was me! <laughs> <laughs> but something still seems off. Way off. I'm still not convinced that the Iris here is the same one from the other night. I love ha. twins. I suppose you're going to say something really ridiculous. Pearl, get in here and channel someone for us. Like, the real Iris and the spirit of Dahlia somehow switched places. S switched places? It's or possible. To be perfectly honest, there are still quite a few things I don't oh. understand, but I do know how. Pearl... Pearl! Pearl did this! Pearl, she said something like, oh, when you try and channel somebody, then it, like, swaps. Didn't she say something like that? No. Where she tried to channel the spirit, and she's like, I have no spiritual powers! Blah! She's saying that it could happen. Either she lost her powers, or if she, her powers are still there, she couldn't channel if someone else was already channeling. Oh, I thought there was something else that she said about it. Okay. That, unless we confirm the, a witness's identity, we can't continue with this trial. Iris doesn't have the spiritual power needed to channel Dahlia, which means they must have switched places somewhere. Okay. Well, Mr. Wright, since the time she was arrested at Hazakura Temple, have there been any chances for Iris to switch places with Dahlia Hawthorne? 100%. When they opened the lovely place known as the Channeling Temple. The Trabian. Oh la la, I'm making the worst Ooh, thing nah. ever. <laughs> Hmm, I can't think of one. She certainly couldn't have escaped while she was under arrest. Yeah, she could've. Ha! <laughs> I love that look on your face. Maybe you should go live in the old mountain shack and become a hermit. Hermit crab! Hermit e frog! Yep, yep. <laughs> it appears there was no opportunity for them to have switched places. No! Uh, no! If I come up here, I'll never be able to live with myself! <laughs> <laughs> Even if it's a little forced, I have to think of something. Yeah. Your Honor, I think there might have been one chance. Oh. oh, explain yourself. Yesterday, for a few minutes, Iris's whereabouts were unknown. Unknown? Oh, yeah, what do you she mean? Ran off. What I mean is, there was a span of time in which Iris was able to move about freely, unsupervised. Well, who was it? 
Who would give a murder suspect time to move around freely like that? I'm sorry. I know you didn't mean to. It wasn't your fault. The person who gave Iris the chance to freely move about was... Edgeworth. <laughs> what, what do you... Had the it was... Good job! <laughs> Make him no. stop be prosecuted. <laughs> Mr. Wright, there will be no un unaccountability in my court, time or otherwise. Ouch. Ha. <laughs> trite, trite, trite. Can't you even remember what happened only yesterday? You weren't there! Yesterday, Iris was escorted. <laughs> it was yesterday for us, but the people playing the game, it was like a week ago. <laughs> was it? I don't know. It was, it was a bit ago. In order to remove the locks on the secret cabinet, that would have had to be our only chance. chance. <laughs> Just realized there's doing the Owen Wilson voice there. Owen Wilson is <laughs> This is Mr. Edgeworth, isn't it? Your Honor, there was a fairly large earthquake yesterday, was there not? An earthquake? Hmm. Was it everywhere? Not in Michigan. An earthquake? Oh my goodness, the inner temple. This kind of tremor might- or tremor! <laughs> you mispronounced it! Twice! <laughs> no, it's consistency! It's consistency. Tremor, tremor. <laughs> how could I have- She fled. She escaped. It's like she knew there'd be an earthquake. She bought Bosco's earthquake maker. Wow. We went to the inner temple right away. And it's true, Iris was already there. However, they had already switched places by that point in time. Which means the Cyclox we broke were Dahlia's. Oh. Which is why there were Cyclox when there weren't before. Oh. When I arrived at the training hall, I was met by none other than Dahlia Hawthorne. Hey, Dahlia. Dahlia. Th that's quite enough already, Mr. Wright. Now see here. No judge in his right mind would consider the idea of spirit channeling and... Be quiet. Oh, she's got the stink face on. It's been a long time, Judge. Mr. Judge. He's just judged me! <laughs> <laughs> the, that voice. Guess I'll have to ask again. Upon meeting a beautiful lady, always ask for her name <laughs> and profession. That's one of my rules. Dahlia Hawthorne. And my current profession? Permanently retired. Ha. <laughs> So you're not going to bother hiding your identity anymore, huh? Why should I? After all, I'm dead. There's really nothing you can do to punish me. Whoa! I kind of like and terror. That is a creepy. <laughs> That's a great face. That is a creepy face. Holy cow! <laughs> well, what is going on here? Yeah, who's channeling her? That's the real question. Who's channeling this person? Is it Maya? And then Maya's just like, whoa! What happened? <laughs> <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. I never thought we'd meet again, and I never thought we'd meet like this. But this time, I'll end it. For her and for myself. Yeah, thank god you're dead at least. Oh, come on. Really? Sorry. 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 At least we got to see her epic stink face and a second <laughs> a epic stink- Slasher smile. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for watching, everybody. It should be her dating profile picture. <laughs> <laughs> no one would- <laughs> Dahlia Hawthorne. <laughs> 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 no that's one like, swipes right. <laughs> that's like what people, where it's like, smile for the camera, it's just like... <laughs> <laughs> Our family. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Tune in next time. We're cro That was Iris's last testimony. testimony. Now it's Dahlia's testimonies. testimony. So, I guess that was kind of true. Look forward to that next time until we meet again, my friends. Have a great day, and God bless, and may Dahlia's face not haunt your nightmares. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs>